Hello there, my name is Luke and welcome to another non-league news flash. Today I'm going to bring you up to date with the latest non-league news. It's been a busy week in non-league, so let's get straight into it. So we'll start off at the start of the week on Monday. Lee Angol, a striker from Peterborough United, he has signed on loan for Lincoln City on a deal until the end of the season. In my opinion, really good signing. He scored a hat-trick on his debut on Tuesday night. Kundo Benyu has extended his loan at Aldershot Town from Ipswich for another month. He's a midfielder and has been impressive so far on loan. Bromley were very active this week in the transfer window. They've made three signings. The first one was Ryan Hall. He's an experienced winger and is now in his third spell at Bromley. He was with Luton most recently. Nathan Ferguson has also signed for Bromley. He is a midfielder. He's 21 years old and he was most recently with with Port Vale in League One. And finally, Shabazz Omafe, he was with Bristol City most recently. He is a right back and he has signed for Bromley. George Essuman has joined Dover Athletic. He is a centre back and is very highly rated by Dover. He played against them recently for BCD Athletic and he has now made that bit he's now made that move on a two-year contract. Now on to Tuesday and there was some big news from the National League North. Salford City announced that they were going to be moving to a full-time model next season with their managers Anthony Johnson and Bernard Morley moving on to two-year full-time contracts. Staying in the National League North, Jordan Hempenstall signed for Brackley Town. He's a striker and joined from Stamford AFC in the eighth tier. Kieran Dunbar made his loan move permanent to Staley Bridge Celtic from Fleetwood Town. He made 10 appearances while he was there on loan and he is a midfielder. And finally, in the National League South, Michael Tadasitis has moved back to Margate. He was there earlier in the season until October and he was released uh, as part of a cost-cutting measure, but he's now moved back there. Now onto some scores for Tuesday night. There were some really crucial ones throughout the National League at National League North and National League South. In the National League, Barrow beat Tranmere. They came from behind to beat Tranmere 2-1. Lincoln City won 4-0 away at Braintree. Lee Angol, the new signing, with a hat-trick there. In the National League North, Alfreton beat Halifax 1-0. Crucial result for Alfredton, moves them away from the relegation zone a bit against a team in the playoffs in Halifax. Kidderminster versus Staley Bridge, that was postponed to Staley Bridge's waterlogged pitch. And finally in the National League North, AFC Telford lost 6-0 at home to Brackley Town, an emphatic victory from Brackley. And in the National League South, Wheelstone, they came from behind to win 2-1 against Western Supermare to extend their winning streak. Moving on to Wednesday, Derwin Martina, it's a, it's a weird saga going on with him at York City. He was bought in by York City at the end of last week and uh, then they announced that he actually wasn't going to sign because they couldn't get international clearance because he'd been brought in from over in Finland. They announced that he was the cousin, I think, of Kuko Martina who plays for Southampton, of which the player then said, actually, no, I'm not the cousin of Kuko Martina. The, the club then announced that he had actually signed, so they had got international clearance, so that was when the story was weird in itself, but now he hasn't played a single minute for the club. He played 82 minutes for the reserves against Hartlepool and then was pretty much released straight after full time. It's a very strange scenario. Ify Allen has joined Wrexham on deal until the end of the season. He was an older shot for the first half of this season before he was released. And Worcester City have brought in a new striker. His name is Pa Suley Nije. He is from Gambia. Although he was born in England, his most recent club was Real de Banjul in Gambia. Moving on to Thursday, and Thursday was a huge day for my team, Kidderminster Harriers. One of the most positive days you've had in a long time. Our management team of John Eustace, the manager, the head coach, Matt Gardner, and one of our other coaches, Kevin Phillips, they have all signed new one-year deals. They're all out of contract at the end of the season, but they've signed one-year extensions, which is absolutely crucial. I was a bit concerned that they were going to leave and move up higher in the level, higher in the football pyramid because they've been doing so well on such a small budget this season. But they've signed up for another year, and I am absolutely delighted with that. Some more positive news is our £10,000 crowdfunding campaign. Uh, that money was spent on Daniel in T from York City. He was with Worcester City last year and played under Matt Gardner for, well, for three years at Worcester City and was very prolific in the National League North before he moved up to York City. He hasn't made the step up very well. He was on loan with Halifax earlier in the season and they didn't make the deal permanent. He's now been released by York City and signed for Harriers on an 18-month contract. I'm reasonably happy about this. He's a winger. We're not really too desperate for wingers, but I think he'll still be a good signing. 
Talking of other signings, Callum Powell has joined Tamworth on loan from Wrexham until the end of the season. And also Alfie Pavey has got another loan to the National League South from Millwall. He's now at Dartford. Moving on to Friday and Colin Gould has signed for Nuneaton Town. He is a 19 year old striker and joins from Poulton Rovers. Nuneaton Town have also brought in a defender. They've brought in Brad Gascoigne from Alfreton Town. That's it for the news this week. But finally the Player of the Month and Manager of the Month awards were announced for the month of February in 2017. The player of the month for the National League was Luke Waterfall, centre-back from Lincoln. The player of the month for the National League North was Simon Ainge. He is a centre-back who has been recently turned into a striker and has scored so many goals for Harrogate Town. And in the National League South, Marvin Brooks, who is a midfielder, he scored about five goals this month, apparently, for Paul Town. The manager of the month, Neil Aspin, won that award for the National League. He manages Gateshead. Mark Bauer won the league for the National League North. He is now manager of Bradford Park Avenue. And in the National League South, Tom Killick, manager of Pool Town, got that award. So Pool Town, very good month for them. They got the manager of the month and the player of the month award. So that's it for this non-league news flash. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure you click that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with non-league football. And as always, if I've missed anything, in this video and there's any news that I've missed then put it in the comments below let me know and I'll write that in the description so as always thanks for watching